People want to go on the internet and check out their friends, so why not build a website that offers them? It's the subject of a Hollywood blockbuster, has more than 500 million users, and its 26-year-old founder was Time's Person of the Year. What Facebook is not is a public company, so its stock should only be available to insiders. But the reality is different. We got a phone call from a former employee of Facebook who asked us if we could help him sell some stock. And over time, this market, this private market, emerged. Barry Silbert is the founder of Second Market, a financial firm that, among its other services, connects Facebook shareholders with wealthy buyers who want to get in early on what they hope is a big money maker. How we run Facebook is a little different. The demand for shares is so high, Facebook trades are now nearly half of their private company business. We saw this as an opportunity to provide investors access to these companies before they go public. All of this activity around Facebook has attracted the attention of the federal government. Because Facebook is still a private company, it doesn't have to show financial records, executive compensation, or even a business plan, unlike the publicly traded firms here on Wall Street. A lot of people who I think build startups or companies think that selling the company or going public is this endpoint. And that's just not how I see it. In December, Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg told 60 Minutes he wanted Facebook to remain a private company. But securities lawyer Tom Curran says the SEC wants to make sure that Facebook isn't trying to remain a private company while its stock is traded like it's public. The SEC is uncomfortable with that because it has the investing public in a company where there hasn't really been a lot of disclosure. Most market watchers believe it's only a matter of time before the SEC forces Facebook to go public. On paper, the company is valued at $65 billion, more than twice the size of Sony, bigger than Kraft, and roughly the same size as Honda. Which raises the question, is Facebook worth that much? There are no guarantees. This is investing. It's not necessarily earning. If the SEC has its way, the company that has reportedly made more than $500 million by asking people to put their private lives online may soon have to be a lot more open about how its business works. John Bentley, CBS News, New York.